Okay, so this is a 2008 Volkswagen Touareg with the 4.2 liter FSI V8. It's got 159,000 kilometers, which is roughly 100,000 miles. And I was in the process of removing the intake manifold to check out the status of the intake ports. I wanted to see if there was any carbon buildup issues with this particular engine, uh, or this particular application, I should say. Uh, there just wasn't a whole lot of information on it as far as whether or not they actually have a lot of carbon buildup in them or not. So anyways, um, this is what my intake ports look like. And you can see down in there, it's a little bit hard to see, but you can see all the carbon on the valve uh, right down at the bottom there. You know, you can see all the carbon around the valve stem. Um, pretty easy to see. Of course, there's lots of carbon buildup in the port wall here as well. Uh, I would say that's probably about, oh, I don't know, in certain sections, probably a millimeter or two thick. And around the valve stems, um, well, that's a good millimeter, two, maybe three millimeters thick in some spots. I mean, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty crappy in there. So, anyways, for anyone wondering what kind of shape you can expect your engine to be in your intake ports and valves uh, on these 4.2 liter engines in the Touregs and, as I say, the Q7s. Um, with around 100,000 miles, I think this is probably a pretty good indication of what you can expect. Try and get, there we go. Um, I am the third owner of this particular Touareg, so I'm not sure what kind of life it had as far as, you know, it was a lot of highway miles, a lot of city miles. Uh, I bought it out of Saskatchewan, so I think it spent a lot of time just kind of cruising down the highway, not really under a whole lot of load. Um, but anyways, so I, I would think, you know, for 100,000 miles, this is kind of what you can expect to find for carbon buildup. So I'm going to have a go at cleaning it out and, uh, and see if it makes any difference. I'm not sure what to expect as far as performance gains in that, but, uh, but we'll see anyways. But I thought I'd share this with you just because, I, like I say, there's not a tremendous amount of information that I was able to find as far as, you know, what's a good cleaning interval or if they even have this as a serious issue or not. But uh, as you can see, it is a bit of a it is a bit of an issue and something that you know will need attention sooner or later. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I may post another video just with some feedback on uh, if it made any improvement or not after I cleaned it, and uh, I'll probably share some more details on what I did in particular to clean it. It'll be similar to, of course, an RS4 uh, or a Q7 if there's any videos on that. Um, but I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll try and make another video or something and just post my, uh, my results with the cleaning and how that goes. So again, thanks for watching.